Listen up, because we're about to bust some serious nutrition myths. It seems like everywhere you turn, there's another health claim or diet fad. Today, we're diving deep into 10 nutrition myths experts wish would die. Get ready to ditch the misinformation and embrace the truth about what it takes to fuel your body the right way. Let's get started. Let's talk carbs. This is one of the biggest misconceptions out there. Not all carbs are created equal. While refined carbs like white bread and sugary drinks can spike your blood sugar, complex carbs found in whole grains, fruits, and veggies are your friends. These good carbs are packed with fiber, crucial for digestion and keeping you full. Studies show a diet rich in complex carbs is linked to a lower risk of chronic diseases like heart disease and type 2 diabetes. So, don't fear the carb, choose wisely and enjoy them as part of a balanced diet. Time to address the fat phobia that's been around for far too long. Just like with carbs, not all fats are created equal. Healthy fats like those in avocados, nuts, seeds, and fatty fish are essential for hormone production, cell growth, and nutrient absorption. Unhealthy fats like trans fats and saturated fats found in processed foods can increase your risk of heart disease. So, don't be afraid to incorporate healthy fats into your diet. You've probably heard that eating small, frequent meals throughout the day can boost your metabolism and help you lose weight. Well, the truth is, it's not that simple. Studies show it doesn't significantly impact your overall metabolism or weight loss. What matters most is the total number of calories you consume and burn throughout the day. Focus on eating balanced meals that keep you feeling full and satisfied. Consistency is key for long-term health and weight management. Let's talk detox diets. They're everywhere, promising to cleanse your body from all those toxins you've accumulated. But here's the truth. Your body is a detox machine. It has its own built-in system for filtering out toxins and waste products. Your liver, kidneys, and digestive system work tirelessly to eliminate harmful substances. Many detox diets are restrictive and can deprive your body of essential nutrients. The best way to support your body's natural detoxification is to focus on a balanced diet, stay hydrated, get enough sleep, and manage stress. True health comes from nourishing your body from the inside out. I don't think people understand gluten. Gluten has become a dietary villain in recent years, but the truth is, only a small percentage of people need to avoid it completely. Celiac disease is an autoimmune disorder where consuming gluten triggers an immune response that damages the small intestine. Gluten sensitivity can cause digestive discomfort in some individuals. However, for the vast majority of people, gluten is not a problem. Whole grains containing gluten can be part of a healthy diet. If you suspect you might have a gluten intolerance, get tested by a healthcare professional. Self-diagnosing and eliminating gluten without proper guidance can lead to nutrient deficiencies. Is organic food always healthier? The answer is it's complicated. Organic farming practices reduce pesticide exposure and promote sustainable agriculture. The scientific evidence on the nutritional superiority of organic food is mixed. Some studies show organic produce may contain slightly higher levels of certain nutrients, but the difference is often marginal. Organic food tends to be more expensive and may not always be accessible. Prioritize eating a variety of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, whether they're organic or conventionally grown. Washing your produce thoroughly can help remove pesticide residues. Supplements can be a slippery slope. While they can be helpful in certain situations, they should never replace a balanced diet. Whole foods contain a symphony of nutrients that work synergistically in the body. Supplements isolate specific nutrients and taking them in excess can be harmful. Before starting any supplements, talk to your doctor or a registered dietitian. Supplements should complement, not replace, a healthy lifestyle. The eight-glass rule is one of those health myths that just won't quit. While staying hydrated is essential, the amount of water you need varies depending on factors like your age, activity level, climate, and overall health. There's no magic number that applies to everyone. Listen to your body and drink fluids when you're thirsty. Trust your body's signals and stay adequately hydrated throughout the day. Red meat has been both praised and demonized in the nutrition world. The truth as always lies somewhere in between. Red meat can be a good source of protein, iron, and other essential nutrients. However, consuming large amounts of red meat, especially processed meats, has been linked to an increased risk of certain cancers and heart disease. The key is moderation and choosing lean cuts of meat whenever possible. Balance it with plenty of plant-based protein sources, fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Can you outrun a bad diet? Unfortunately, the answer is no. While exercise is important for overall health, it can't completely undo the negative effects of a poor diet. 
your body needs nutritious fuel to function optimally, even if you're physically active. Exercise and diet go hand in hand. They're both essential for maintaining a healthy weight and reducing your risk of chronic diseases. A holistic approach to health involves nourishing your body with nutritious foods and moving your body regularly. So there you have it, 10 nutrition myths debunked. I hope this video has given you a clearer understanding of how to navigate the often confusing world of nutrition. Don't believe everything you hear and always be critical of sensationalized headlines and fad diets. Focus on eating a balanced diet rich in whole unprocessed foods, staying hydrated, getting enough sleep, managing stress, and moving your body regularly. If you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments below. What are some other nutrition myths you'd like me to debunk?